So today I wanted to uh, make a video that applies to all of you out there, all of you freelancers, no matter what type of freelancer you are. In fact, no matter what type of entrepreneur or, you know, anyone who's kind of setting out on their own, uh, this will apply to you. And um, it came to my mind because one of my uh, students, uh, one of the people taking my course was making a comment and saying how he is kind of getting no return or, you know, he feels he's getting no return or very little return for the effort he's putting in, um, into, uh, you know, trying to build up his business and create a new business. And it struck me because that actually is very true. There seems to be no correlation between how much effort you put in and how much you get out. Definitely at the beginning. And, um, and, the, and I think, you know, the, because you're used to something like if, say, if you're studying for a test or something, the more you study, the better you do, you know, by and large. You're trying to work out. The more you work out, the more muscly or fit you get and, uh, and stuff like that. But so you feel that if you're setting out, say, as a freelance translator and you start putting in a lot of effort, you should, you should see more returns. But many times that doesn't seem like the case. And uh, so the reason for this is and, and it's because you're just starting out. And I guess with everything, it's a bit, you know, it's kind of like that. When you first start working out, say, you don't see much, uh, you don't see many results. But over a while, you start seeing more and more. And this is all the more so true with, um, with freelancing, with freelance translation. And the big reason for this, at least in my experience, is that at the beginning, you're actually wasting a lot of effort. Um, and a lot of the things you do are kind of wasted energy. Unfortunately, there's no way to know what kind of effort is wasted and what isn't until you, because this changes for every person, right? And uh, this will uh, change depending on, you know, what your skill set is and uh, what types of clients you can find and what type of clients are available for your certain language combination, your specialization, the area you're in, or just pure luck. And um, so, you know, a lot of the effort you put in, a lot of the people you try to contact, a lot of the stuff you put a lot of effort in won't pay any rewards, you know, at least not now. And you don't see any benefit coming in from all the effort you're putting in. So, but what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is less and less and less of this. So the effort you're wasting and, you know, the effort that you're putting in that doesn't get any results, over time you'll start noticing that certain things don't get results while certain things do. And so you can figure out what does get results and what doesn't and start concentrating more and more on what does get results. And as a consequence, things that do get results will pay compound interest, if that makes any sense. Let me give an example. You realize that you're targeting certain types of clients and you don't get any results and you're targeting other types of clients and you do get results. Say you target, as an example, you know, financial uh, clients and legal clients. Financial ones, you're not getting results. Legal ones, you're getting a lot of results. So what you can do after a while is stop contacting the financial ones and just contact the legal ones. So suddenly you, you're putting in half as much effort or, you know, if you put in the same amount of effort, you're going to get double the results or quadruple, you know, whatever it is, you're at least going to get results and here you're getting none. And um, for the same amount of effort because you're still contacting clients, but they're all here. And then what happens there is that you get, you're targeting more, you you get more used to them, you target them more, and you start learning what they need. And so this is what I mean by compound interest, because you get, uh, you, you understand the industry, you understand what they're looking for, and this is all based on your past experience. And um, so you take this over time, and what happens is you're wasting less and less effort, and you start really getting good at what, at knowing what works and what doesn't, and what you should be targeting. And, um, and so this means that over time, you'll be putting in very little effort for a lot of re reward, if that makes any sense. You start off putting in a lot of effort for very little or no reward, and, but over time, that ratio starts to shift until, at a certain point, you realize that getting clients isn't so hard. I mean, it's always an effort, but you kind of know what formula works for you and at least what has been working. And many times you need to tweak it or change it or you want to try new things and that's fine. But you kind of do have a formula, for lack of a better word, a system, let's say, that helps you do it. A system is better than a formula because there's no guaranteed outcome. But you do have a system to try to find out uh, what works and what doesn't. So, um, and, you know, and, and that's, that's usually how it works. At the beginning, you see very little reward, very little results for all the effort you're putting in. But 
over time, you start realizing that you do see results. And then you start realizing that, hey, these results are coming a lot more easily than I remember from, you know, when I first started out. And, uh, and yeah, it just starts getting easier and easier. The big question, of course, is how much time passes from when you first starting out and you don't see the results to when you do start seeing results. And there is no answer because this changes for everyone, right? And uh, it, a lot of it has to do, once again, with your skill set, with your language combination, with pure luck and everything else. So what I try to do with all of these videos, by the way, and with my course and all that, is to help out that process. Unfortunately, there is no system you follow A, B, C, you know, these things and you're guaranteed success. This isn't like, uh, I mean, you know, unfortunately, this isn't like class where, you know, if you study your vocab, you can get an A. Here, you can study all the right vocab, but it's life. And so there's always that that unknown X factor that comes in and uh, you never know what'll, and, you know, what'll work and what won't. And uh, so it really takes experience to figure this out and to figure out how to uh, find what works best for you and what doesn't. So time is an unknown here. And uh, unfortunately, that's what kind of gets a lot of people down. They try it and feel like they've been trying it for a long time and nothing works. And so they kind of give up. But those people who persevere in a way, you kind of have to persevere past what is logical almost because you're like, I'm putting in all this effort and not getting any reward, but it's the people who keep going after it. And so it really is people who really like doing it because you kind of have to keep going past that point and then you start seeing results. Um, and uh, yeah, that's based on my experience, that's how it works. And uh, for the most part, there is no set formula but you can create sort of a system that works for you and that helps you get, try to find new clients and helps you find a way of identifying these new clients and seeing what works and what doesn't. So, you know, at the beginning, it will be slow. And at the beginning, you know, anyone who tells you you can find success like that or they have a formula that guarantees success, stuff like that is lying as with anything, you know, along those lines, because it really... There, there are certain ways you can try to avoid m making mistakes. You can learn from other people's mistakes and definitely from your own mistakes. And so for this reason, I think it's very important to take stock of what you're doing. Try to keep track of who you contacted, what industry they're in, you know, what type of client they are, especially when it works. Try to keep track of what works out and uh, co as compared to what doesn't because then you start noticing patterns and you start getting an idea. You'd be like, oh, every time I target you know, potential clients in this country say it really works out or who do this or who need this kind of job done, it really works out. You know, when people need a job done quickly, it really works out. Uh, maybe I'm just a lot quicker than most other translators or anytime someone needs something done over the weekend, it works out because I have no problem working on the weekend, but some other people might. It's things along those lines and it, they're very hard to identify until you've been through it. And then you start getting an idea and then you can start identifying it and that really helps you push forward. So it really does help to take stock to try to keep track of what works and what doesn't. Otherwise, just keep putting the, the effort in, you know, just keep putting it in. And I know it, at many times it might seem that it's useless and you don't see any rewards, but just know that everyone else is going through the same thing. And a lot of people are giving up. And if you keep persevering, then you, you know, you're beating out the competition, those who give up because you keep going and going and, uh, you know, sooner or later you will find success, but it, uh, it really, it changes for each person. So you need to kind of push back past that barrier where you start seeing results from your efforts. And from then on, really, it does get simpler. It doesn't get easier, let's say, but at least it gets more straightforward because you know what to tar focus on, what to target, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, hopefully you can find this useful. Hopefully it's not too depressing, but rather motivating because even if you feel like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, it is there. And, uh, you know, you just need to keep pushing and uh, keep going. And, th you know, this is especially for you people who are just starting out and who maybe feel like you've been doing all this work, you know, right at the beginning and, you, and you're not seeing results. Keep going. And, uh, you know, the results will come. And unfortunately, you just have to keep pushing and keep pushing. You're doing the right thing. You know, then try to keep focusing on it, focusing on what works and, uh, and focus on and, you know, you'll get the results. So anyway, uh, hopefully you can find this useful for, uh, for what you're doing. Again, this applies to all types of freelancers. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. And please like this video if you find it useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Savedum.